In this video, we're going to take a look at creating this resort or tourism type style of design working with some free images that I downloaded from pixabay.com. You can use these commercially. There's no issues with that at all. And there's plenty of images to work with, well over a million here. We're working with an owl. I'll be using a nighttime scene from this image with the wolves, but I won't be working with the wolves. First thing I want to do is knock out the background for my owl, and I already vector traced around that, and I'll zoom in there. And you can see the vector outline around the owl here. I'm going to use that to knock the background out or bring the owl out of the background. Left click, hold down, I'll lasso the image and the vector trace. I'll come up here to intersect. And that's going to give me a copy of the owl or whatever is inside of the vector trace over the bitmap. And we can see that here if I move this, there's the vector, but also here's the owl. So I've got a copy of that also. I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. And that's the curve. I'll hold down Alt. Now, if you hold down Alt, you can select the object behind the object that you have selected. So I'll hold down Alt, go to the center X in the owl, left click, hold down, right click one time, and I'll get a duplication of the owl. I'll bring this over here and we're going to resize this a little bit, make it a little bit bigger right about there. And I'm going to convert this to a grayscale bitmap. So I'll go bitmaps, convert to bitmap, set this to grayscale, and I'm going to want a transparent background. Anti-aliasing I could have, but I don't have to have, but I'll have for this and select OK. Now I've got my grayscale image. I want to create three copies of this. So I'm going to left click hold down right click one time to duplicate hold down control to constrain that then i'm going to go control r two times and i've got three copies of the owl to create my grayscale separation with now i'll start getting into some techniques with the transparency tool in corel draw perhaps you've never seen before but you can very quickly and easily create these grayscale separations or image splits so you can work with them as monochrome bitmaps in color I'll select the first owl here and I'll hold down shift and go to the rectangle tool. Double click on that and that'll create a rectangle around my image. So now I've got a perfect rectangle. I've heard that this does not work in Corel Draw 2021. You'd have to create your own rectangle. I'm working in 2018. I'm going to take that rectangle, come over here to the RGB color palette. I'm going to go with 50% black. And I'm going to right click to take the outline off of that. And then I'm going to go to the transparency tool. I'm going to change this vector object to the merge mode of divide. And what I did is I just knocked out all of the gray that's below 50% in the image. I'm going to select everything here and I'll just create a duplicate down here. I'll go bitmaps and I'm going to go convert to bitmap and I'll go with the grayscale here again and select OK. I can turn off anti-aliasing and that'll be fine and I won't need transparency. That'll be fine. I'll click OK. Next I'll take this copy of the owl, left click, hold down, right click one time and I'll duplicate that down here. I'm going to create a duplicate of this version of the owl. Left click, hold down, duplicate on top here. Hold down Shift and then I'll hit C and E on my keyboard to center those. I'm going to click off, select the owl that's on top. I'm going to go to Effect, Transform, Invert Colors. Go back to my Transparency tool. Here I'm going to change the Merge Mode to Screen. Now you can see that's knocked out all the black that was above the 50% point. So now I have black and gray. I'm going to use this image to create my white base or my white for the grayscale split. So I left click, hold down, right click one time, duplicate here. And to make that the white, I'm just going to go to Effects, Transform, and Invert Colors. And that will now be the white. And you can see that as it is here in the grayscale, the black is where the white is. Now if I wanted to, I could use this image to screen the white out here, but we won't bother with that in this session. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to take this image because I know this is still two objects. 
bitmaps, convert to bitmap, and that'll be okay. This is ready to go, it's just one object, and that's ready to go, that's just one object. Now I'm going to start converting these images to monochrome bitmaps. I'm going to do that through my simple steps and using the tools that I have there. Simple steps is so much more than just ripping software, it's all kinds of tools for color separation, and I use it for design also. If I want to start designing with monochrome bitmaps, I'll go to tools and I'm just going to lasso these three images and I'll move them down here. And I'll start with the black here and we'll do a normal conversion and let that process. Go to the gray, normal conversion, let that process. Go to what be my white base, normal conversion, let that process. Then I'll take all of these images here. This is going to be my white. I'm going to go ahead and just make that red for now so I know what it is. And I'll left click here in the X. That's a right click, by the way, for the foreground color. Left click for the background color when you're dealing with monochrome bitmaps. Same thing here. I'm just going to left click that. And I'll bring this over here. It'll be on top of the red. I'm going to take the black. I'll bring this down here, duplicate that. I'm going to come up left click for a transparent background and I'll bring that over here. Now I'll lasso these three and then I can hit C and E. And we can see we now have a grayscale separation or split of the owl ready to go here in Corel Draw. Now that red of course is the white. Now if I want to change the colors I can select the black. I'm not going to want to change that. If I hold down Alt, I'll select the object behind it. That's going to be where the white was, and then there's another black. So I'm out of order here a little bit. I want to go to the object docker, which is not here. So I'll go to Window, Dockers, Object Manager. I want to look here and see what these bitmaps are. That's black. That's red, that's black. So this red, I'm just going to left click, hold down, pull that through the object manager down to there. And there's the owl. Now I can change that with a right click to a white. Go to this bitmap and I can change that with a right click to the 50% gray. And now you can see we have our grayscale owl set up in Corel Draw. I'm going to bring a copy of our actual design over here. We'll start working with that and I'll bring the nighttime image with the wolves over here also. I'll use my center mouse wheel and zoom in here. I'm just going to create a black rectangle to go around my owl for my design. I'll fill that with a black and then I'll just right click and I'll go order and to back of page. Then I'm going to bring in my wolves image here. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to make that about as big as the owl. And this I'll just right click and I'll go to order. And I'll select in front of. You can't see it but it's here. And I'll click on the black rectangle. And there it is. I'm going to want to mirror that horizontally. And make it right about the size of the owl. And I want to get that moon in there behind the owl. Just like we can see, kind of like right there. I got that black monochrome back, and I'll hit Control Z to move that back. Make sure I've got this. We'll bring this up into here. Say right about there. We can make this actually quite a bit bigger when we want to crop it, but I'm actually going to make it bigger, and we'll crop that and bring that over here to size right there. And then I'm going to go to the Crop Tool, and I'm going to start right about here and go to right about there. Bring that down right to the top of the owl and bring this up into the bottom of the tree. Then I'll just double click in here and I'll have that cropped. The next thing I want to do with that is I'll go to bitmap mode and then I'm going to go to grayscale. Now I'm going to want to invert this so that the white is going to show up as the color. So I'm going to go to Effects, Transform, Invert Color before I convert to a monochrome. I'm also going to go to Effects, Adjust, Tone Curve, and I'm going to bring some of the darkness 
into this a little bit more. Something like that, just an adjustment there. Select OK. Then with that selected, I'll go back to my simple steps and go to normal conversion. And that'll process. And now I've got that as a monochrome bitmap. I'm going to go ahead and delete this in the background, right click on this, order in front of again, and make that the black to the back. There's an X here in the center. I want to get that and reposition this for the owl right there. Now here at this point in time, I'm going to make the background transparent and I can change the color of the foreground to let's say a kind of soft blue and you can see that effect. I could have made some more adjustment here, but I didn't. Now I'm going to go to my Pantone palette because I want to work with Pantones here. So if I want to color separate, I can do that very easily with my simple steps. I'll go up here. And for that color in the background, we're going to use, let's say, maybe that blue there, or maybe a little darker even, something like that. And actually, I like this better. So this is a right click for the foreground color. Then I'll go to my owl. Here is the black. I'll hold down Alt, go to the gray, and I can see that down here. And I'm going to change that to the blue also. And now we can see we've created that effect. And if I want to, I can just push this up into the tree a little bit more. And we have set this design up and then I can bring my text over. Just put that at the bottom. Left click, hold down, right click one time to duplicate that, resize that, change the size of my black vector rectangle. And you can see how we set this design up working with images as opposed to vector, doing some manual color separation with the transparency tool in Corel Draw, and then working with the monochrome bitmaps ability to change colors. And you can go through here and look at all kinds of different color looks and feels based on the design. If you want to do something that was a little bit of a different blue, I'll hold down Alt, go down to that blue, and we could come down to something like this blue here and we can see that change or that blue there or an even lighter blue and we can see how that affects our design so very effective tools in Corel Draw for doing our grayscale color separations or color splits converting to monochrome bitmaps and then being able to work with the color of the monochrome to create very nice designs as you see here for your resort wear or your tourism wear Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.